And I think most authors will tell you that there's a little piece of them somewhere in the story so that the stories are not necessarily, you know, just correlated or straight autobiographical stories. I am extremely conscious of my work and the influence that it has on young people. But I'm 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 one of those artists, man. I believe that black artists, regardless of what you do, you know, you if you make music, if you dance, if you make films, if you write, you have an obligation to to create the kind of artwork that moves people to uh, action. That you have a responsibility to paint the Black experience as real and as beautiful as you possibly can. That whole idea of the little girl, Kiana, who imagines all the wonderful things and talks about all the wonderful ways that she can wear her hair, that spirit of creativity and joy is really what I wanted to transmit in this story. I wanted us to kind of, kids especially, to kind of think about what's important in their communities and to value their own history and stories and be active in kind of preserving that and creating the communities that they want to see, they, that they want to live in. I actually wrote the poem and I entitled it Crown, an ode to the fresh cut. And it's not really about a haircut, it's about how we feel about our boys and how they feel about themselves when they look in the mirror. Their words have so much power. You can create your own reality uh, you know, just through language, just through positive thinking, thoughts, you know, ideas. And I was I was able at an early age to create characters, to create people, to create whole new worlds. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 was, I wrote my first short story when I was uh, 10.